Hello people, welcome back to the channel, this is Sorin and today's video we are going to take a look at the object 780. This tank has been implemented back in 2020, into May to be exact, two years has passed and now it is the first time we encounter it into the battlefield. So this tank features uh, a 130 millimeter made armament and those were the first statistics that we had. Um, they changed a lot of statistics that were, they mentioned the, cha the characteristics are not final and let's see what they did. Uh, jumping on into comparison, this is what we have right now on the battlefield and this is what we had before when it was first into implemented into the game. Uh, my opinion is that this tank is gonna be uh, featured pretty much in uh, November, December or January whenever we're gonna have the next campaign. This tank is gonna be either a campaign reward, a brand new one, such as we had the Karo um, uh, combat amount of 45t or it is either, either gonna be a bond store which is gonna be like less likely so yeah we're gonna see a brand new reward to pick into world of tanks um we never will never know how or when so yeah pretty much into 2023 is gonna be the first time we're gonna meet this into the store into the um with the public as well on top of that we do have the tier 9 chieftain that has been added to the battlefield as well we do have some footages of it but uh, yeah stay tuned for that as well because this tank is gonna get into the game as well really quick so yeah we are gonna have two tanks by the 2023 well this tank pretty much lacks the dpm um compared to the 279e and the 260 which are other tanks that you manage to get for uh, your a reward for uh, being really good in the game but uh, it's still part and part with the IS-7 and the IS-4 which are two competitors with this vehicle so starting off it had a damage buff a dpm buff because it got its, its damage per shot went from 490 to 530 quite respectable buff they didn't change the reload uh, they changed the penetration from 263 to 267 and the penetration on APCR from 305 to 311 which is a bit less a bit worse compared to the um, other Russian vehicle that get 340 hit but the IS-3 gets IS-7 gets only 303 on APCR which is respectable as well next to that I think that we want to highlight it's why this tank get 233 meters of pen at 500 meters because tanks that use APCR such as the 260 gets only 245 which is still pretty much like double pretty much like this thing gets uh, 34 and this thing is like only 15 penalty which is a bit interesting because this tank uses AP uh, on its normal round and APCR on its uh, goal round but the fact is it does have quite good shell velocity and it has been buffed since uh, we first met it but still it gets a really really big drop off and i'm not really sure how but it's still this is what it is still the rate of fire is pretty bad it's pretty much as bad as the s7s um the caliber is 130 which is good for overmatching plates the ammo capacity is 33 a bit higher than the is7 so you can carry a wide variety of rounds and yeah, pretty much the highlight of this is the 1130 meters a second shell velocity and on premium rounds you do have 1480 which makes it really really easy to snipe uh, on the battlefield at moving and long distance targets next to that is the gun hauling gonna help us here for sure we do have 0.82 and 0.34 base accuracy and dispersion which means this tank gets really really nice gun hauling pretty much as good as uh, object 260 and uh, yeah overall it's gonna be pretty decent on top of that you do have uh, the moving accuracy are pretty decent i mean with the vertical stabilizer you can play this tank like a god and uh, yeah overall over here it got the buff as well talking about the gun hauling it got uh, like small bits in there Next to that, this tank gets 7 degrees of gun depression. It's gonna work a rich line like um, no other Russian tanks does on this uh, line. For example, the 79 is gonna struggle fighting on the uh, fighting on a gradient. But uh, the only tank that managed to outperform this thing is on a ridge line is the ST2 that can carry 
two guns and on top of that gets a decrease of gun depression but still this tank is gonna play unlike a russian uh, heavy tank so yeah that's pretty much good news for the object 780 we can see that it has pretty punchy gun pretty good gun handling well the mobility is gonna be good um 45 kilometer for a heavy it's decent but uh, yeah, i got um i got uh, nerfed a bit here and there and on top of that the ground ground races as well got nerfed as well but uh, it's pretty much part on part with the 260 and the 279e so if you already have those tanks and pretty much you need those tanks for the clan wars because these are the competitive tanks and those tanks are gonna help you get this tank as well so you get a correlation of how this tank is gonna feel on the battlefield uh 15 70.47 power to weight ratio it's pretty much the same as you get on the i7 so um yeah kind of you can you get the mobility as well so this tank is going to be like a more of a medium kind of mobility it's quite it does have the grunt and the engine but it's not as slow as those those semi in e as the um, odice 4 so yeah kind of mobile and next to that do you have the armor well 100 100 doesn't feel like it's gonna be the most but um yeah, this tank does have really, really interesting armor. You do have an auto ricochet angle if you're gonna face hug yourself. And on top of that, you do have 100 meters of side armor. That is gonna be pretty, pretty damn good for uh, ricocheting enemy uh, AP and APCR. Um, but uh, it does have on top of that this weird plate over here that looks quite weird, like if you look at the model. But it's 145, which means you can um, bait people's uh, rounds. But um, you can say skip on a city map, you're going to do really good. But still, once you manage to, if you really want to pick a corner like this, you're going to expose it as you do on the i7, on the i4, and other tanks that have pike nose. So this tank gets, um, it, it is going to get a really interesting playstyle. The lower plate is. Um, pretty much non-existent it's like really really small and on top of that this tank feels really really tall like um, it does have like a gold uh, ground clearance and um, the armor on the turret is not as strong as usually you get on a russian but still if you manage to wiggle and uh, you don't let enemies shoot onto your cheeks it's gonna be a good thing and on top of that really interesting you do get quite of a huge cupola i mean it's not that huge but you still get a weak point on top of the turret that is going to be pretty decent hard to hit but still you do have a weak point over here um like you do have on the Reno Cervante, but this thing is pretty small and on top of that if you use the gun depression as uh, i managed to fight one of those it is really 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 difficult to hit it's pretty much non-existent when when you're fighting a tank like this so yeah, the armor does hold up pretty well. So you do get a tank that is once again really, really overpowered and uh, quite competitive that is given to really competitive players and really competent that is going to play like five battles and get the the, um, the taste of how this tank should be played. So yeah, overall it's a really strong vehicle, but what is not so strong is the health. 2050, it got uh, lower by like... 10% which is a bit uh, a bit of a nerf but yeah pretty much traded your uh, hit points to get pretty much like better uh, dpm better gun handling and overall less mobility so they made it quite a heavy vehicle not a medium but uh, yeah it's still part on part with the object 260 uh, hit point wise and on top of that this tank gets 410 meters view range which is quite interesting for a heavy tank you don't get this kind of view range usually on um, the russian vehicles like you get more view range than you get the t100 lt that is a scout which is really really interesting on top of that um yeah this tank gets pretty much on set on fire like every other russian vehicle does so um yeah you better take a look at the crew because this tank can carry only three uh, members i mean the driver is doing its own job the gun is doing the loader job as well which pretty much makes it uh, a bit difficult for him it's gonna be 
pressurized by the intuition, by the um, what else do you have on your load like? I believe intuition is gonna be most important. Let's take a look on the on the, only on the intuition because you don't need like the adrenaline rush or whatever. But the commander is doing two jobs. He's gonna do the loader and the radio man. So uh, yeah, this guy is gonna be a bit stressed out. And um, talking about the equipment, I mean actually the crew, the brothers in arms, the repairs are gonna be pretty mandatory. The situation awareness. I'm not gonna pick uh, recon because it's gonna be, as I mentioned, a bit stressed out, stressed out for the crew and uh, for the commanders. I mean. But uh, yeah, overall I'm gonna pick the hardening because this tank really needs the hit points. With my setup you do get 2370 once you manage to max out the, um, the vehicle. Um, the rammer because this tank really lacks a DPM and the vertical stabilizer to make the gun limb work workable. And on top of that if you have the, this setup like the alternate suspension, the parallax uh, adjustment because you can drop the dispersion quite a lot to 0 0.32 with the expense of like 0 0.08 or something like that to the aiming time which is not significant but uh, next to that you do have the periscope electric uh, drive to make your vehicle just shy of 445 meters uh, next to that I wanted to pick the firepower slot just to increase the TPM, you can uh, put the mobility slot if you really wanted to use the turbo, but with the next setup, the power supply re rewiring, uh, you get 4 km an hour top speed for the, once again, the, um, you trade the aiming time, which is not significant on this tank for the 4, 4 km an hour top speed, which is important. And next to that, the reinforced platform, because you want to get two extra hit points, percent extra hit points which once again are really important for this vehicle the dispersion it's uh, not that big of a, free of a difference because you do have vertical stabilizers to counter that and uh, overall yeah that's gonna be pretty much my uh, kind of setup for this object 780 and on top of that if you put the combat ratio you don't really need to worry about the fuel range as well so yeah kind of an interesting tank um, why I mean that? Because it gets kind of unique pre sale, you do get a lot of gun depression, uh, you do get kind of a really interesting side armor and overall armor, it's like a 279E but kind of hybrid. Um, and on top of that it's quite interesting to have 400 meters view, base view range on a heavy tank. And um, yeah, overall it's really really interesting and I'm really looking into this tank to be on the battlefield because um, yeah it's gonna add another variety on the battlefield and th this tank is really unique in its playstyle because you do have a tank a russian vehicle that actually can uh, do some support from the bat from the back from like the second line and uh, overall this tank is gonna get a lot of hate for the first of all uh, till like for for the first week that's gonna be implemented because people are not gonna be really sure how to play it or how to deal with it but um, overall this tank is gonna be quite a tough nut to crack to be honest and uh, hopefully we're gonna get more better news onto it so this was Sorin and I believe you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.